Welcome to our Continuous Sweep Clock Movements page. This page allows you to select an excellent sweep clock motor for your clock repair or to build a new large clock. A couple key points I want to go over to make sure it's the right selection for you. There are two measurements when you're doing clock repair or when you're building a new clock. One is how long are your clock hands and another one is how long is the hand shaft. When we look at measuring the length of your clock hands, we are not concerned with the hour hand. We're only concerned with the longer one, the minute hand. And we measure from the mounting hole to the tip. No matter what size the hands are, here's a larger hand, we're still going to measure from the mounting hole to the tip. We're not concerned with the part after behind the mounting hole, the tail part of the clock hand. So, in this case, this clock hand is under 5 inches. We can use a mini quartz motor. We don't have to use a high torque motor. The mini quartz motor, motor will drive hands up to 5 inches. Now, when you purchase one of our continuous sweep mini quartz motor, you're going to receive free clock hands. The reason we do it, one is we want you to have uh, hands for your new motor and plus we have a great selection and more importantly your old hands probably will not work with your new motor simply won't every manufacturer makes their motors to their specifications and there's no cross reference from one manufacturer to the other so when you're buying one of your mini quartz uh, motors just please you will be prompted during checkout to to not purchase, you get them free, to select a free set of hands. Just select those free set of hands. You'll be glad you did. Now, with each motor, you're going to get a pack of hardware. In that hardware is, one, a rubber washer. Two, a brass washer. Three, a hex nut. Four, a minute hand nut. And five, a cap nut. This is a high torque motor. So, when you look at this page, we only, it, it's only this th threaded part is only so long. So if it's longer than the material, you could, you could, if you wanted, when you're putting it on, put that rubber on, and I could put on a couple washers. I bought these washers at a hardware store, and that'll shim back the amount of uh, hand shaft that sticks through the dowel. Easy little trick there. To shim it back a little bit if it's not an exact fit. But when you are measure, making this measurement, you're going to measure one, the overall length, and that's only important if you have a lens because you don't want your hands to hit the lens. So the overall length is only important if you have a lens on your clock. However, the threaded part is extremely important because this is a, uh, this threaded part is shorter. If you have a thicker dial face, like a half an inch, this one would be too short, would not work. This one would be fine. It would slide through, and you probably have enough to put a, uh, you would have enough to put a brass washer in the hex nut on. So, let's show you how simple it is, let's move these out here, to install clock hands. You put the first one on is the hour hand. It's the shorter one, you just press it down. It presses on. We have the American eye shaft, as you can see, the minute hand has an oblong uh, hole there. And it'll line up right with the shaft. And then what you do, if you're not putting a, a um, second hand, you would use the cap nut. You would just put that cap nut on and give you a real nice finish there. However, if you're going to use, I want to show you this, if you're going to have a minute, I mean a second hand, let me pop this off for you. Push that in there pretty good. Okay, now, as you can see here, the, there's an inner inner circle there that that is where the second hand will come down upon. When it comes down on there, this fits right in there. And that's how you install your second hand. And so let's take a look at how a continuous sweep motor works. Instead of the second hand ticking, it will just have a continuous sweep mode. This is the high torque one, so it can drive large hands. However, 
The smaller regular mini quartz motors can also will function in the same exact way with a continuous sweep.